Ever heard of an app called Quickstarter? Why don't you start a fundraiser on there? Wait, what is that? It's a crowdfunding platform. One of the latest trends. You mean like, a public donation project? That may just work. I gave everything I had to this city. I created a detailed proposal to revamp this city's entire security, and they just laughed at the cost. It's clear these assholes won't do shit until something serious happens. You can talk all you want, but I think we both know all you really want is revenge. Yeah, she's been victimized yet again. Here's a video of her having sex with her boyfriend. Damn, that's heavy. Huh, I guess Tsukino must have found a boyfriend since the first pervert. And that would mean this guy judged her guilty. On what grounds? Judgment. So I had, um, I had some intentions to record Judgment, but it, I didn't think I was going to. I recorded some Genshin today, did the Alhatham story quest, and I thought, are you kidding me? I thought, in the middle of editing things, that Zack would hop on at some point. But, apparently, the dinner he was brought to, um, apparently the dinner was not a dinner. It was, or it was a dinner, but then he was also brought to a concert with his family. So, basically, Yeah, basically, I don't get to see Zack today at all. Or, I mean, I probably will. But I was supposed to have seen him a while ago. And, like, bro, I like how his vacation is, like... His vacation is supposed to be, like, the best time that we could have played River City Girls and, like... You know, completed it and stuff. I wish I got this a while ago. And so, like... Oh, now you give me these. Because I'm going to need these, actually. So, like, you know, it's his vacation, and it would be the best time for me and him to be completing River City Girls, and, you know, River City Girls 2, and stuff like that. But it's like, I can't get on early enough to do it. Or, I could have done that today, but even then it probably wouldn't matter. Or, I do get on early, and then he's kind of stuck doing grinding in Destiny 2. And then he's got dinner. And then he's, his parents are like, oh, let's go to dinner. Bro, what's tomorrow? Because hopefully I can... I either won't be getting on early tomorrow, or it's going to be like, late at night. It's like, bro, this is the best time! But I... <laughs> Sadly, we can't make too much use of it. <laughs> anyway... He could be on any moment during this recording, so I'm probably gonna cut randomly during the quest, which I'm gonna... After this fight, I guess... After this fight... I'm gonna... This fight, I'm gonna... Save my game... So that if I do end the recording in the middle of this quest, at least I will retain the skills and stuff that I just got. And any other plans I had for Genshin, like exploring the desert more. Um, I've already explored the desert. This is the desert quest that I have to do now. But I'm going to push that even further. Because uh, I just don't want to do it. So I'm going to be focusing more on Genshin again. But there's a guy up there. <clears throat> Wait. That's him? Oh, dear God. I've never seen anything so... 
Perverted! Unforgivable! I pronounce these heathens guilty as charged. I'm actually kind of impressed he made it up that high. Well, guess I'll shoot him down with the pigeon. He'll live. Probably. I don't like that I have the door kind of open a little bit. I wish my dog was in here so I could have shut the door. Whoa, he's fast. What the hell? The cockroach thing wasn't far off. He couldn't have gotten far, though. I'm on it. What are you on? Where'd he go? Oh my god. This is ridiculously fast. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, what oh what is the what the Gotcha. Alright. Got it. Hey. Hey, you okay? You! Are you the one who did this? You've interfered with my righteous ablation, and I find you guilty of obstruction of justice. Sorry, but peeping toms don't get to make those kind of calls. This time, you're the one on trial. Shut up. Silence! Order in the court! The defendant is guilty of contempt, and I'm going to be the judge, jury, and executioner. Not a wise choice. Yagami said it best. Huh? I see. Your judgment is chopstick! That did a lot of damage. Oh, that's it? We don't get any special power from him? Damn. That guy is actually the least interesting. Yagami-san, you did it! Thank you so much! I think it's safe to say that video won't be appearing on any social feeds. Oh, thank God. No one should be subjected to what went on in there. Hmm? Wait, what? Didn't you say Tsukuno was the victim? How do you know what went on in there? Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> That, that, well, y you see... Yagami-san. Huh? Yagami-san? Shit! Sugano! Oh, hey, Yosuke. What's going on? sugano san I heard you were too depressed to even leave the house. Huh? Depressed? Why would I be depressed? Well, Yosuke here says you were the victim of Judge Creepin' Peep. Mm. Judge what now? You're scaring me. I think it's a raining outside. Oh, great heavens, it is indeed raining. If I just open the window and Judge Creepin' Peep was right there. Oh no, I was just talking about Yosuke's job. He said you and your boyfriend got caught in a tryst. Seriously? What? A tryst? I don't know anything about this. Uh, 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 Yosuke, care to explain this one? <laughs> I'm sorry I lied about Tsukuno being the victim. Yosuke! What? Why would you do that? 
Let's not get hasty now. Now that I think about it, is that how you knew what went on in there? <laughs> I think it's past you, Yagami-san. So you're Judge Creepin' Peak's real victim? Why lie about it, though? Couldn't you have admitted you and your girlfriend were, ta were taped? That's... But I thought Akiri-chan was still in America. Well... Hmm? Akiri-chan is Yosuke's girlfriend, I take yeah. it. Yep, they met through me, actually. But she's studying in America right now, so it's a long-distance thing at the moment. But she didn't say anything to me about coming back. She's not back at all, is she? Right. She's still in America. That would mean you got caught in the hotel room with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was in the room with someone else. Yosuke! Yosuke! You cheated on Akita-chan? You promised her you could handle a long-distance relationship. Don't be mad, Tsukuno. Listen. I am mad, and why did you lie to Yagami-san about this whole thing? Well, you and Yagami-san seem to talk on a regular basis. So I was worried that if I... So if I told him... I was worried that if I told him the truth, you'd find out eventually. And then Akira would kill me and you'd blow up like you are now. So... There you have it. Jeez. Guilty. You're guilty as charged, Yosuke. Sorry, Yosuke, but you're gonna need more than a lawyer to get you out of this one. I'm sorry. My brother really put you through the ringer, Yagami-san. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, you're the real victim here. Tsukuno-san, I'd say your brother's guilty of a character assassination. <laughs> yeah, Yagami-san almost got the wrong idea, Yusuke. Why don't you... why don't you and I have a few words? Okay. Oh, and Yagami-san, just so you know... Hmm? I... I don't have a boyfriend. Hmm? Okay. Goodbye! I wasn't expecting the curveball on that one. But at least the old Twisted Trio is locked up now. Gotta look on the bright side, right? I kinda knew she was gonna be a potential girlfriend just because of the English. But didn't ex but damn, I- like, in the middle of the dialogue, I knew that damn fool was cheating. And I was like, I wanted to say, you cheating bastard. But, hmm, I wanted to finish up the line. Oh crap, I'm in the wrong style, hold on. And I'm forgetting that I'm trying to get the, uh, wall attacks. You kinda gotta have to wait a second for Yagami to snap to him. Man, I don't think Zach's really gonna be here till like 9, which would be 10 his time, or 10 my time, which would be 11 his time. That would just suck if I don't see him at all today, just because his parents brought him to a concert. Like, that concert better be good, he better be enjoying his time. He better have had a good meal. Cause like, bro, you took a chance for me hanging out with my boy. It's like I look forward the most to hanging out with Zack and playing some games. Do do some damage. Ah, crap. I didn't think I'd kill them. Ryan, don't. Too far. Really, guys? Like, Ryan, I got a plan going on around here, and I need you to stop. Anyway, we need to go to Yagami's office, because there's no more friendship things or side quests at the moment. I'm actually going to save before activating this as well. Just because I don't want to be... Like, Zach gets on, I'm stopping everything, so... Even in the middle of a thing like this. You guys want to go? We can have a girl. Yeah. 
Oh wait, this will work. This is a it's a wall move. Well, they're getting pushed back now, so. Stop getting scared and face me. And I know for a fact that Ryan just stole my kill. Thanks, Ryan. I didn't want your help. Oh, you're still up. Damn it. Just right into whoever Kaito's talking to. Right. Alright, so what's going on here? Who are you talking to? Hmm? Hmm. Hey, there's Kaito-san. Looks like he's with someone he knows. What's up? Hey, Kaito-san. Is a friend of yours? Talk. Oh, hey, Talk. This is Arachi. He and I go all the way back to middle school. Arachi, this is Talk Yagami. This guy I've been telling the guy I've been telling you about. Oh, the man himself. Kaito never shuts up about you. I'm Hayato Adachi. Adachi is state president and director. I take you on the company. Yeah, but it's still pretty small. We hadn't talked in years, but we ended up randomly crossing paths the other day. <laughs> now I've got a new drinking buddy. I meant to introduce you earlier, but you know. Ah, no problem. Yeah. In fact, we were about to go grab a beer together. Wanna tag along, talk? The more the merrier, I say. Huh? Right now? This is all so sudden. Come on, jackass. We're going to tender. Another main story side story. <laughs> Arachi here was one of my one of the smartest kids in the school, you know? Even back then. So, you were an honor student, huh? <laughs> nah, he's blowing it out of proportion. I tested well, but I was also a little punk. Always picking fights. The teachers hated me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story how we started getting along. Archie and I were always teaming up to kick some neighborhood's wannabes gang asses. He was the brain, I was the brawn. We were one hell of a team, right? God, why does Kaito's face look like the like the faces that everyone puts on the I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for Yakuza games? <laughs> yeah, scary alone, unstoppable together. When you and I hit the streets together, it was bad news. Kaito. To this day, I don't think I've ever met a guy I'd rather have on my team than Kaito-san. <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated, but no need to lay it on that thick. Oh, it's fine. Besides, you got a new partner now. Hmm? You mean me? Hmm. Huh. Talk. My partner? We're a pretty good team, but... Partners? What do you think, Talk? Hmm. I don't know. I always thought of you as a colleague, but... I guess partner works, too. Hmph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me some. I hate to ask this out of the blue, but... Do you think I could borrow Kaito for a hmm? bit? Oh. Some kind of job thing? Exactly. I was going to visit you at your office to ask this, but... Nah, you're fine. But what does a real estate firm need a lug like Kaito around for? <laughs> About that. I need a bodyguard. Oh? Yo. What's all this about, Archie? Yeah, you wouldn't think real estate would have such physical demands. But Kamarocho's market has been attracting rough types for years, and they hate newcomers like me. When you say rough types, you mean Yakuza? Yeah. It's a never-ending cycle of fights. Protection money and scare tactics. And that's why you need a bodyguard. Yes, but only if it wouldn't cause any trouble for you. I know you must be drowning in cases. Yep. Not really. I understand, though. And I'm fine with it, as long as Kaito-san is. Hmm. Yeah, no problem. But I'm not giving you any friendly discounts, Arachi. Of course. How does 80k per day sound to you, Yagami-san? Yep. No issue here. Incredible. I really appreciate how flexible you've been about this. Kaito. Kaito, it looks like our little tag team rides again, eh? I'm looking forward to this, partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this sure brings me back. Glad to be aboard. Nice. 
Kaito-san seems to really be enjoying his, his having his old friend around. Hayato Adachi, huh? I should have his company business card on my case file, and that'll give me his address. Address. Maybe I should check in on him. Why not? Got any work? Oh no. I need to get to Reputation 35 to get this next quest. I think I'm really close to that, though, aren't I? Let's just check in on Kaito. So, I do need to look at the evidence. It's in the side case, though, ain't it? Because it's partners. We have finally been... Oh, crap! I forgot about this one. Okay, I need to go to Majori. Because I completely forgot I had this. I'm glad I just looked there. I mean, I had to look in there. But I'm glad I saw that I still had this one. That wouldn't have been good if I missed that. Let me save here, just in case. Better get the guide out, because you know you don't solve these codes yourself. So, a final event. Where is it? It's definitely not a final request. We're not fighting any Ammons just yet, if there is an Ammon in here. Where is it? Oh, it's probably the Mystery Wire's Master Stroke. Yeah, there it is. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, Kawada-san. How are you? Is hot. Oh, fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your help lately. Not at all. How are your books selling? <laughs> Two books at the same time from a famous author must have made waves, right? <clears throat> Damn, I didn't need to go like that. Well, actually, we still haven't published them. Huh? What? You don't mean... Yeah. I'm afraid so. This is a trilogy we've been dealing with. Hmm. Seriously. He did say... He did say something about next time when I solved his last problem. <laughs> did he? He's a crafty devil. But I've read the second novel cover to cover, and there's so many loose ends. There's no way to solve the mystery, which is why I think the third and final book will be the key. But I could never publish it as an incomplete trilogy. Mm -hmm. So let me guess what we have to do. You got it! Another problem event! We need this to complete the third yogami san Okay, but couldn't you start with the first two? I thought your company was in danger of going under. You're not seeing the big picture, Yagami-san. If we publish an incomplete trilogy, readers will be furious. This trilogy has to be published together or the whole mystery loses in its integrity. Huh? So you're actually putting the quality of the experience over the sales numbers. But I can't say this isn't stretching us thinner than I had imagined. But I love books too, too much to gamble on publishing something that would tarnish the, the story. I see. I can appreciate that. Listen. I would pay you even more than last time. How about 380,000 yen? Fine, but I'm only taking it if I can pull this off again somehow. That's okay. I have faith in you, Yagami-san. Shall we then? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go then. You know, part of me has been thinking about that Ruby Arrowfall game and thinking me and Zach could play that, if we can play that and co-op in a share play. But then there's a part of me that's like, I don't know if I want to step back into the Ruby world. Great, I think we've got this third book in the bag. What well, part of this is we? Thank you all for attending, everyone. I think we all know the drill by now, yes? However, before we begin, Katagiri Sensei has a few words. Please, Sensei. First, let me extend my most heartfelt thanks to you all that would come out to this for a third time. 
Believe me when I say I have never felt so creatively energized, and I have completed a third book. But it's important to me that I keep the playing field level, and so I've devised another problem. I believe this novel could very well be my magnum opus, and I can't wait for you all to read it. I'm starting to wonder which one he likes better, writing books or problems. As usual, he who solves the problem wins the publishing rights. I look forward to your efforts, everyone. Thank you. His best work ever, huh? I bet he's come up with a near impossible problem. We're ready to announce the problem. Oh, but in case you've forgotten the rules, here they are, real quick. The problem will result in an answer that opens the safe on the stage. Inside the safe is the Sensei Master script. If you have a solution ready, just come up and try your luck on the safe. If it opens, you've earned the rights to Karagiri Sensei's newest novel. With that, are you ready? Here's the problem. What does it even mean? What does it even mean? I'm so confused. Okay. Hmm. Five plus three equals nine. But what I'm telling you, wait. I mean, I know the answer because of the thing. So that'd be 17. I'm not actually. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to do math, all right? I hated, I ended up hating math. I'm not here to do your damn math problems. And to be honest, I forgot how to carry the subtraction. See, that's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I've got it. The genius detective strikes again. Go ahead and open the safe, Yagami-san. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, once again, it's Yagami-san of Cloudy Skies Publishing. Are you as confident as you've ever been before, Yagami-san? <laughs> well, this was a hard one, but I think I figured it out. Well, you certainly have a track record for it. Go ahead, Yagami-san. Alright, time to enter the code. Oh, this better be right. Eight, nine, two, five. There we go. <laughs> hey, it opened. Whoa! You ought to be sawn in cloudy skies, publishing of Soul the Riddle yet again. This problem is represented by a clock, of course. If you add three hours to five, it becomes eight. But if you subtract ten hours from seven, it becomes nine. And if you add eleven hours to three, then you've got two. Finally, subtract seven hours from midnight, you get five. This makes the answer eight, nine, two, five. It seems I just can't stump you, Yagami-san. Close this door all the way now. <laughs> I'm sure you'd eventually get me. Cloudy Skies Publishing has won the rights to my third book. And yet I have to ask, why haven't you published the two you already had? Hmm. Um, because... Because I believe these three books constitute a trilogy, Kadigiri Sensei! Oh. Kawada-san. I could tell when I read them. Parts 1 and 2 are incomplete in their own... on their to exist on their own. I suspect that the mystery is only solved once you've read the third and final part. So I could never bring myself to publish an unsolved mystery. Wonderful. I'm so glad you caught up. Huh? I've actually been thinking about hanging up the proverbial pen and retiring. I felt rather gone by this industry. Hmm? Gone, Sensei? Ever since I became a best-selling author, the industry has put my name on a pedestal. They didn't care what I wrote. I could write garbage and they would take it as long as it said Ta Takumi Katagiri. <laughs> the first reader is the editor, wouldn't you say? But they weren't even reading my content. That's what led me to resort to measures like this. 
First, I wanted a test that would measure a publisher's ability to truly comprehend mystery novels. But the true test was exactly as you discovered. I hid the fact that it was a trilogy. So if we'd gone ahead and published the first or second books, I would have revoked the rights, hidden away the third book, and retired from the public eye. Thankfully, none of that came to pass. Guardian Sky's publishing is passed with flying colors. You are exactly who I want to work with for the rest of my days. I will assign exclusive publishing rights to you. Uh, exclusive? You mean that? Yes, I do. I... I'm so honored. Thank you so much, Yagami-san. I think our company is completely safe now. It's your own doing, you know. You have a real editor's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in shock, to be frank. Well, I'm sure you and the author are really gonna get along great. I... Yes, I hope so. Here's your payment. Thank you again. <laughs> no, thank you. Keep an eye on the bookshelves, Yagami-san. Next time we meet, I promise to have good news. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. Great. I'll be seeing you then. I haven't curled up with a good book in a long time. <laughs>